Hey guys, welcome back. So you voted on Instagram which video you wanted to see today and you chose plant shopping, which is a fantastic choice because Cactus Club just restocked and we will see where else the day takes us. It was between plant shopping and worst plant fails, so I'm actually very relieved that you chose plant shopping because I have to say I have some very embarrassing stories about my plants, uh, things that have happened recently. We'll save the plant fails video for another day. For those of you that don't know me, welcome. This channel is for crazy plant people. So if that brings a smile to your face, welcome make sure you subscribe so you never miss a video um i do post once or twice a week usually twice and i'm also on instagram and i'm on there every single day so if you like my channel you will love my instagram so give me a follow on there as well all right so i'm about to go into cactus club i'm really really excited to see what new plants they brought they always bring back some really awesome uncommon and rare plants so let's go check it out Okay guys, so you will not be disappointed. So many amazing, beautiful plants. Um, uncommon, rare. I mean, just plants that are really, really hard to find, especially here in uh, you know North Carolina. So I'm really excited to show you what they have. They have some of these absolutely massive, beautiful philodendron mexicanums, um, and they are around 215. I mean, look at the size of these little lobes and ears that they have just so so beautiful um they all have new growth as well like look at the new growth coming out there and uh, this one over here has a bunch of new growth coming out so that's very tempting so gorgeous we have a home home uh, i ne can never pronounce these home alone mina <laughs> for 32 and some of these um Medi Medinia for 36. These are huge plants for for that price. This is beautiful. Um, and the flowers on these are just magnificent. And I also love the leaves, how like pillowy and beautiful they are. I am always blown away by their gloriosums that they have here. Like, how do they manage to find such amazing gloriosums? I'm just in awe. So beautiful and velvety. Um, such great growers as well. These vary in price. Um, but they're around 250, but they're so huge and they take forever to get to this size. I was just admiring this plant with, uh, with ivy because look how beautiful and white these leaves are. So, so gorgeous. This, uh, this crimson queen, stunning. Look how cute this little, um, begonia kit cat is. It has these beautiful candy stripes, um, you know, like peppermint looking stems and the leaves are absolutely stunning like such such a vibrant green let's see how much this one is it's for 14 incredible and this alocasia sarian 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 is 16 and look at this these alocasia first of all look at those stems look at the shape of those leaves so pretty these are absolutely beautiful as well. They are Begonia Silver Dollar in four inch pots for 14. Look how cute those are. Bunch of jungle boogies up here. Mine never stops putting out new growth. It's an awesome plant for $15. Some four inch uh, Scandapsis Pictus Silver Satin for um, $12.50. Look at those leaves. I love how large these leaves get. They're very easy care. Um, great, great plant. Some cute little strawberry begonias here for $8. And uh, they have some aluminum plants, but they also have the variegated ones. Looks like there are two left and they're a great deal at $14. Mine puts out new growth all the time, I'm obsessed. Look at this beautiful, beautiful fry deck. Absolutely love it. Those velvety leaves just are calling to me. This gorgeous Magnificum is $2.25. Mine is doing really, really well from here. I love it. Um, I cannot stop staring at how huge those leaves are. And 
they have some other massive ones back there. Such a gorgeous anthurium. Here we have a beautiful philodendron mayo eye. Um, look how huge that stem is. It's pushing out new growth. It has another huge new leaf here unfurling and it is 115. Not gonna lie, that's pretty tempting because look how beautiful that leaf is. It's one that I've been staring at every time I come here. I find that's the way it works. I come and I, <laughs> I stare at all these plants and then I go home and can't stop thinking about them and then I have to get them the next time. <laughs> Ooh, look at this one. This is an Anthurium Insigne for 125. Absolutely beautiful. There's one down there. Look at those roots. Oh my. Now this one's really pretty too. Philodendron Plowmanii for 140. Looks like that's the newest leaf. Gorgeous. Really, really healthy, thick stems. And look at the way it does like a little ruffly up at the top. And the most beautiful part, in my opinion, is this gorgeous, gorgeous leaf. Just look at that. So pretty and pillowy. Now here we have a philodendron by Penifolium. Tons and tons of new growth just bursting out. Um, from the sounds of it, this is a pretty fast grower, a good grower. I also really like how it has some like silveryness on the leaves. This one has tons of new growth coming out. You, that's like what you wanna see um, and it's 88. These zebra plants are absolutely adorable for 30. So, so awesome. Some huge watermelon peperomias for 28. Here we have an Anthurium longest <laughs> storum. I don't know, I can't pronounce it, but look at these leaves. Oh, I just love the, the detail of them, so beautiful. Here we have Anthurium pendants. Look how long that leaf is, I love it. Oh, and I think this one is one of the coolest ones I've ever seen. Look at this, the like how fruffly this leaf is. This is Anthurium Reflexinervium for 115. That is such a cool looking plant. This is an Anthurium Gracile, Gracile, I'm not sure, for 60. Look at that leaf, so awesome. Next up is Anthurium Bulatus. I love the fact that they have plants here that you just don't see anywhere else. Look at the shape of that leaf and his little round ears on top. So beautiful. This is another Anthurium Gracile. Look at the um, texture of that leaf. Beautiful. Here we have another Anthurium, Anthurium Coriasum. 490, look at it. How much fun is this plant? Wow. I love the like light um, shade of green right down the center, how beautifully long the leaves are. Looks like it has new growth coming out there in the center. Awesome. Here's an Anthurium pseudo clev, clev I don't know, for 125, can't pronounce it. So look, it has like all that new growth. And then the leaf has like three on there. Wow. A lot of these I've never even heard of before. It's awesome seeing them. Oh, look at this little baby leaf. So beautiful. Here we have a bunch of white ghost cactus for 165. Look at these, oh my gosh. They're so massive, incredibly beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at these guys. They are so funny and cute with their little like wild hair. Um, they've been grafted on, which in and of itself is really interesting to me. And they are 56, they're euphorbias. That is so cool. Here we have their um, cactus section, lots of great stuff. Look at that one. I love these guys, they're so cool. And they're, you know, they range $8 and up. 
Here we have an Astrophytum myriostigma back here. I don't have this one yet. Um, it's like a bishop's cap, um, but it doesn't have any spines on it, which is interesting. It's just completely smooth. But they do have some other Astrophytum here as well that I'll show you guys. Euphorbia snowflake back there, Tephro cactus. Awesome. Little blue guy back there. So it looks like they have one varicosum left, my all-time favorite plant right now. Look how fuzzy that stem is. Ugh, I can't. And uh, mine's been putting out tons of new growth. It does enjoy putting out new growth in the colder seasons, which is super nice. And uh, this one in particular is dark form, varicosum dark form, and it is 148. Here we have some Raphidophora high. Oh, no, this one's high over here. And then this one is Cryptantha. 458. Look how cool that is. I just love the detail of those leaves. It is love and life. Look at that one. This dubia is so beautiful. I've been staring at this dubia every time I come. Like, I'm eventually gonna break down and get one of these because they're awesome looking for 150. They do have a melanochrysum here for 140. Look how much new growth is happening on this guy. Look at that leaf. It's so velvety. New leaf coming out there. Happy, happy fella. Um, this would be a great one to propagate as well. Look at that. I love melanochrysum. Uh, the mature ones are just so, so beautiful because the leaves are totally massive. And then we have an Anthurium forgetii here for 150. This one's white stripe. Look at that leaf. Um, I'm so glad the last time I was here, I went ahead and got one. So glad it's already putting out like three new leaves. I have to show you guys an update on some of my plant growth because um, it's pretty exciting. Here are the other Astrophytum. Uh, these are $20. These are uh, Astrophytum myriostigma, also known as Bishop's Cap. And they have the booby cactus here, guys. Come get one. It's so awesome. One of my all-time faves, 95, and that's a great deal on that. I mean, it's totally massive. And then we have a, uh, a totem as well for $68. Here we have some Calatheas for $12, some really cute little Hindu ropes for 14, Hoya pubicalyx for 36. Wow, these are super duper splashy. Look how splashy those are. Nice. We have some Epipremnum penatum. Look at these guys, and they are $16. Wow, look at this jewel orchid for 20. That is so beautiful. That's tempting. I really, I'm starting to want, I want to do a little terrarium with rare begonias and jewel orchids. Because <laughs> I'm getting the bug. Oh, look at these alocasia. These are alocasia hilo hilo beauty for 16. Oh man, I love alocasia so much, but they are, I just have so many problems with pests with them. I have to get on like a pest management routine, I think. Some beautiful Peperomia frost. Some little Calatheas, some little Orbifolias. Some little Birkins for 15. Some beautiful Mykins. Look at these Prince of Orange. They are so, they are so vibrant and colorful. You can tell they've had a lot of nice sunlight or grow lights. Um, same as these Mykins up here. Some little Ficus Lorata. Guys, they have some Alocasia Stingray. So cute. <gasps> this is a wishless plant, but. <laughs> I just love it. Look at the little stems. And I just like the way the leaves are. Like, looks like a little. It's so cute. Mm, I'm so tempted. And then Alocasia Tiny Dancer, which is beautiful, but I've had two of them and both have died from spider mites. So. Mm, some beautiful whale fins here.
Beautiful, beautiful begonia. These are Sansevieria robusta for 22. Alocasia flying squid. <laughs> These are so fun. Look at that wild, wild fella. This is an Anthurium lux luxur luxuriance, it's okay. And it is so, so beautiful. Look at the texture of that leaf. Um, they are absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you want one of these, um, the best way to do it is to let Ivy know. Um, reach out to Cactus Club and you can pre-order it and she will pick one up for you the next time she goes. It is so, so incredibly beautiful. And just look at the stems, they're so, um, like fluffy and red. Oh, absolutely stunning. I, just to be able to see this plant in person is like a real treat. So beautiful. I know, I was looking at that. Anthurium roots are the best too. <laughs> they are massive. Now here are a bunch of six inch philodendron silver stripes for 48. Can't find these plants anywhere. And they have them here and the leaves are huge and so, so beautiful. All right guys, I just finished up at Cactus Club. Oh, their stuff is always so amazing. I don't know what sound that was, but that was the sound of somebody who was very excited to show you my plant haul. Um, I picked up some really great stuff. I walked away with three different plants. Mwah, chef's kiss, they are all amazing. Now I am at King's Nursery. Now it's been a little while since I visited here and they have been really stepping up their houseplant game. And then I also wanna see if I can find a pot for one of the plants I got today because I would love to display it in my living room perhaps with like a nice pot to accompany it. All right, I'm ready to do a little bit more plant shopping before we call it a day. Let's go. So I was just told that they just received a huge shipment in just a few days ago. Um, so I'm really, really excited to see what they have. Now they have a lot of their spring stuff out. Absolutely gorgeous African violets. Just look at those colors, stunning. They also have some oxalis or some, you know, shamrocks. Um, look how pretty they are. Oh, so gorgeous and purple. Always an, a nice addition to the collection. Um, their prices here are really good usually. So let's see. Uh, okay, these oxalis are $8.99. Beautiful. So right when you're walking into their houseplant section, they have some um, different ones mounted here and uh, they have re mounted Retusa for 24, some Staghorn here for 29. I mean, I just love how they have them mounted. Ooh, this one's really cool looking. A Ripsalis for 14. Um, that's really nice. I love the way this Monstera looks in this pot. This is... <laughs> I have to buy one of these pots, they're so cool. And this Monstera is just absolutely beautiful. Look at those Monstera roots. Oh, gorgeous aerial roots. We have Anthurium. We have, they have a bunch of staghorn ferns for $17.99. Underneath there, <laughs> beautiful one that they have that I always admire every time I come here. They have a bunch of ZZs for 26. Cute, I love mine so much. Oh, look at the Sansevieria. This is another one that's on my maybe list one day for 40. Maybe it's a Sayuri or a Bantel Sensation. Oh, this sounds so cute, look. They have it with the rocks and the little planter already. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, this, uh, is it Moonlight? I always, I always want to call it Moonshine. Oh, it is Moonshine, okay. <laughs> moonshine Sansevieria. Gorgeous. There's a lot of nice ones here. Monsteros are 49. 
And then the small ones are $19.99. Look at these beautiful Tradescantia. I just love how small, like delicate the leaves are. Um, and these huge ones are 36. And then over here they have some China doll plants for 34. Again, such beautifully delicate leaves. The Schiffler is gorgeous as well. I have a bunch of these rainbow peacock plants. See if I can get a good shot of it. Because they're so like shimmery and almost teal colored. They have these Earth Star here for $24.95. Some bromeliads. Peperomia Marble for $8.99. Hmm. Some Pubicalyx for $24.99. I love how they're on this trellis. Got some cute little retusas here for $19.99 as well. These leaves are just so delicate. Love it. They have some really beautiful orchids here. Um, I'm loving that I'm seeing orchids kind of more and more. 34, yeah, they're all about 34.99. Terrarium plants, a little heart fern, cute plumosa. Got some string of pearls here for $9.99. Cute little spider plants. Lots of string of dolphins for $7.99. Look at these succulents. So cute. These Calathea are $12.99. Some rattlesnake. We have some alocasia here. Wow, they have uh, this Regal Shields for 45. Beautiful large size plants. Some more alocasia with the beautiful pink stems. Stromanthi Trio Star. There's an alocasia California for 45. Nice. I love these fern Australian trees. They're so cool looking. They're 52. Look at these beautiful Sansevieria. I just love how it's just that solid green color. You don't see that very often. And they have it potted up in this amazing planter for 29. That's a great deal. Lots of beautiful ferns. Um, just a ton of different types. For fifteen, eight dollars. This one's fluffy ruffles. So so cute. This one is fern tricolor. Is that nice? Wow, look, this tricolor one is beautiful. They have a bunch of them, and the tricolor is eight ninety nine. And then this is maybe lemon button. Yeah, fern button. They do have the heart, the heart leaf for $14.99. And then all sorts of beautiful um, bird's nest ferns. Here's some of the philodendron Xanadu Enzi for $19.99. Lemon lime philodendron. Then we have some more Raphidophora. And the Raphidophora are 24. Looks like there's some Adansonii mixed in there. Look at that Marble Queen pothos, so beautiful. Then some Golden Pothos as well. And then they also have like, they always have a great assortment of, you know, succulents and cacti. 
are some nice size Adansonii for a 34. I love the, um, it's one of my favorite plants. It's so, so nice. Then they have some different hanging ones available. I can't get over how variegated their like marble queens are that they have. Look at that. It's like so, so chunky. They have some little lithops if you're looking for those. Some large size variegated Apuntia and big Madagascar palms. And they also have an assortment of Dracaena here. Hmm. I wonder what I'll pick up from here today. Wow, this bird of paradise is awesome. Look how huge that is. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, I wish I could fit that in my house. 389. So massive and beautiful. I'm gonna take a look at their pots and stuff because they have lots of cute ones. And look at this terrarium, guys. Like, isn't this interesting? 269. Aw, it would be nice to put like begonias and stuff in there. They have it already set up. Hmm. Hmm. So the plant I got needs like a nice size planter. That one's kind of neat. Um. Not big enough though. Of course I like that white one down there with the legs on it. But that's too wide. Hmm. Oh my goodness, look at this cute little terrarium they have here. It's $1.99, they have it all set up already. And it's a little hobbit house. Oh my goodness! I'm not gonna lie, that that's kind of tempting. Look at this one for $1.99. How did I just glance over this? Oh, it's so cute! Oh my gosh. They have it all set up and everything. Well, out of everything I've seen today, this is what I want. <laughs> I want this little hobbit terrarium. I just think it's so cute. I could totally see my little like jewel orchid, my little like uh, begonia in there. Oh man, I just think it's so cute. They also have these really cute goldfish plants here for 29. Um, they're so adorable. Cause look, you can see the little orange flowers look just like little goldfish. All right guys, so I just finished up at King's. I absolutely love that place. Like I can tell they're really stepping up their game. Tons of beautiful house plants, gorgeous pottery. Um, now I was trying to find a pot for one of my plants that I got this trip, but I couldn't find one the right size. They had such cute ones, but just not the right size. So I'm gonna keep my eye out for that. But let's get into the plant haul portion of this video. I got three plants from Cactus Club. I cannot wait to show you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. So let's jump into it. All three of these plants are absolutely amazing. This first one is a watermelon peperomia, but it is a super, super variegated one that's actually um, created by one of the growers that Cactus Club buys from. So this isn't just, you know, a, an everyday variegated peperomia. This is a special variegated watermelon peperomia. It is almost white. It still has those nice um, red stems and the variegation on it is just absolutely gorgeous. Like it's very important to wait till they dry out and then bottom water them. I also really love seeing like the original leaf that they propagated it from. I just think it's so neat how, how uh, how easy it is to propagate these. I love this one and they actually gifted this one to me. So thank you so much Cactus Club. They have a few more there. Um, but yeah, this is a very, very special um, variegated watermelon peperomia. And I am so obsessed with it. Like you can see little like, you can see little tiny flecks of green, but hardly anything at all. 
So I'm going to have a fantastic time seeing this one grow into a nice, big, lush watermelon peperomia. This next one is super exciting because I never, ever, ever run across these plants. It is an Astrophytum myriastigma, um, but this one doesn't have any spines. I do have a bishop's cap, which I'll show you guys, um, and you can see it has like the silvery little spines on there, but this one doesn't have any, and I'm obsessed with that. Now, if you're not into cacti and you don't know anything about Astrophytum, let me share a little bit about the Astrophytum world with you. They come in all different shapes, all different uh, colors. They have amazing spines. They're genuinely like pieces of artwork. They are so, so incredibly stunning and there's so many different kinds. I am completely obsessed. Now they're very slow growers and they take years and years and years to get to large size ones. So this one has to be a nice old, an old fella. Someone asked me recently, like my top three, plants that are wish list. So the top three in no particular order are El Choco Red, Philodendron, um, Anthurium Vecchii, and Astrophytum. Any kind of Astrophytum I'm all about. So I was really excited to um, to get my hands on this beautiful, beautiful uh, one today. I just love, 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 love it. It's like amazing to me how mother nature can make these. I actually am so obsessed with Astrophytum that I bought a ton of seeds and I'm going to tell you all about them in an upcoming video. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm so excited about this about this Astrophytum myria stigma and, and you can, I just can't ever find them anywhere. So definitely excited. All right, so this next one, prepare yourself because it is beyond incredible. Ta-da! <laughs> it is a philodendron mayoi, mayoi. Oh gosh, I wish I did better at pronouncing, gosh, but it doesn't matter. Look how beautiful it is. I, um, when I saw it at Cactus Club today, I was like, I gotta get it, I gotta get it. And there are so many things about this plant that completely sold me on it. So when you get a plant that's, you know, comes from a cutting, the, the size of that cutting makes a huge deal like the mother plant that it comes from, as many of you guys already know. Look at the size of this stem. Like this was growing up the side of a tree, fully matured plant. It is absolutely massive. Like it has huge aerial roots. It has some new growth going there. And look at this new leaf that's coming out there. I mean, it's so, it's amazing. Absolutely incredible. Here's an example of one of the old leaves that hadn't fully matured. And then this is the newest leaf. Like look at the difference between that. So this is a great, great sign. Top cuttings just usually do really great. So when I saw this was a top cutting and the size of the freaking root and the size of the stem, I mean, it's like a fully mature plant. So this plant is so big, I can't fit it into the, um, I can't fit it into the frame, but I am so, so in love with this plant. Uh, it's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Really love philodendrons. Um, I've been having a lot of success with them recently, seeing tons of new growth. They are loving my plant room. They are loving life. So I'm really, uh, I'm so excited about this one. Again, if you guys have any plant care tips about any of the plants that I have today, please send them below and let me know what plants you would have chosen if you would have been plant shopping with me today. Um, I always love to hear which ones are on your wish list, which ones you were excited about and, and your thoughts on, on it. And you wanted to see a plant shopping video, so you got me out of the house and we went plant shopping today. And I'm so glad we did because if not, I would never have had the opportunity to get this beauty, so. I think we look good together. What do you think? <laughs> oh. So I am massively obsessed with all three of the plants I got today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't already subscribed to our crazy plant tribe, please do. That way you never miss a video. And uh, yeah, I post at least twice a week usually. And look me up on my Instagram because if you like my channel, you will love my Instagram. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. I'll definitely be seeing you soon. Bye.